What is up guys, so in today's video we're going to be playing some Infinite Warfare and one you're probably like what the heck is he doing, he's playing some Infinite Warfare, this is kind of strange, what is he doing, okay so let me actually explain this, alright so um, I'm not going to lie, I've actually been enjoying Infinite Warfare a lot lately or actually Call of Duty in general, I've been actually liking it and I already got killed, that was first death, that was honestly really horrible, but yeah I've been liking Call of Duty a lot now, especially since yesterday, was it yesterday? Two days ago, when the DLCs came out, I've been liking Call of Duty so much. Like, you don't even know how much I actually like it. Oh my goodness, that was freaking crazy. There was, like, dead bodies flying everywhere, and I didn't even know where anything was at. So, that was kind of whack. But, yeah, I've been enjoying Call of Duty, and the only reason I've been enjoying Call of Duty a lot lately is because, one, I got, like, a little bit, like, motivated. Because, one, if you don't know this, or you don't have Twitter or whatever, um, this was actually trending, and it was hashtag Phase 5. And it so I guess this trend actually started from a couple fans. Honestly, I don't really know if, if that's true or not. But I saw that they were tweeting and they said that, oh, look, we started this trend and stuff like that. And that um, Norton Shat ended up tweeting about it and said we can hear you and stuff like that. So maybe, honestly, I don't know if it is true, but I kind of hope that it does come true. But they um, they might do Phase 5. I actually didn't know what Phase 5 actually meant until I searched it up. And it was basically just a recruitment challenge. I think it was like for editing and like sniping and then trick shotters and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't know how it's going to be now since they actually have a CSGO team and they have a uh, Overwatch team. So maybe they might actually recruit people that actually plays those two games, like those two games. Honestly, I kind of doubt that. I think it's still going to be Call of Duty and stuff like that. And they might still like get like other teams, like you know what I mean, like League of Legends, Minecraft, you know, just naming some games that could be for like MLG plays and stuff like that. Since I was actually trending and stuff like that, I was like, dude, I really want to get into phase. I really want to, like, since I already made a video about this and you probably already know about this. If you didn't watch that video, then you probably don't know about this. But I was like, okay, so I think this is my moment. This is my chance. And then I started playing, like, a lot of Call of Duty. I only got one clip so far. And I know that kind of sounds shitty and stuff like that. But those kind of two days, actually, no, actually, was it two days? Honestly, I don't know how much days it was. But for me, it was kind of like practice because I was kind of playing a lot of custom game and trying to snipe and, you know, trying to get good at it. Because one, I'm not the best at this. Fuck, I choked. I just really want to get into phase now and it's just so motivating. And that's what I'm going to try to do every day, you know, try to like get like clips, try to hit bangers. And, you know, maybe that will like help me make it into phase. Honestly, I don't know. I know that just sounds like a little crazy thing to say, especially that... People will be doubting you, especially if you say, oh, I'm going to get into phase. Oh, I'm going to try to do everything to get into phase. I know that sounds really, like, weird and crazy. And it's like, bro, how are you going to get into phase? Like, you have no chance of getting into phase. And honestly, that probably is true. I honestly don't know. But, you know, um, I'm kind of saying this off what phase people said. Like, especially Norton Chat, um, what they basically said is, like, if you put effort into it, you can succeed and stuff like that. And honestly, if that is true, then I will try... Also, why not try? It's like not even gonna affect me anyways. But yeah, honestly, I'm just so motivated. I already know I'm like kind of repeating myself and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't even care. I don't care what people say. I'm gonna keep trying, keep going. And anybody that doubts me, you know, just just screw you. I don't know what else to say about that. But I'm gonna keep going, trying to go into phase if I can. I feel like I probably can, but I just gotta put like my effort into it. <gasps> no! Dude, what is this teammate doing? He just let me die, dude. That that was honestly really nice. We went 28, 25. I know the death wise is really bad, but honestly, for me, I feel like I'm improving, and honestly, that's really good. And honestly, that's I'm just trying my hardest. Like, I'm trying so hard to try to get to phase. I'm trying to get good at this COD, even though I don't really enjoy it that much. I mean, it's not that bad of a COD to be honest. But still, I'm trying super hard, trying to get into this. And honestly, if any phase members watching this, I kind of wish that they were just to hear me out and just say, like, like you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to do everything. You motivate me and stuff like that, especially Rain and Sprat. Those two mostly uh, motivate me a lot. Okay, also speaking of phase, all right, so I think our, a lot of people already know this, too, that um, phase actually released their new scuff controller, scuff 2.0 or something like that. Yeah, it's like a whole new design of the controller. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, I actually want that controller so bad. Not because I'm in assess with phase and stuff like that, but, like, I really want it. Because I, I want to scuff. I'm not going to lie. Because one, I feel like 
I can't play claw and just let you. Oh no, what the heck did I do? No, what the heck? Oh no, please, please, can I go back to my thing? I, there, there we go. There we go. Okay, I don't know what the heck I just changed. Like I was saying, I kind of want like scuff controller, and the reason being is because like I want to jump and like. Okay, so I don't know if you know what a scuff controller is. Basically, panels in the back, and it helps you like play better. You can design it your own way. Like if you want like uh, the thumbsticks to be more of their cave or like dome, whatever you want to call it. It's just basically something like that, and it helps you a lot. And what I kind of want to scuff controls was one, I don't play claw, so it kind of makes it difficult for me to keep like aiming and jumping and stuff like that. So I kind of want to scuff controller for that reason for jump, because one, it will actually help a lot. And I feel like it will like improve of me hitting like a lot more quit scopes like in the air. Like if I was having a close gunfight and stuff like that, it would be way more easier if I can just like jump like over. I don't know how to really know how to explain it, but sometimes like where you need to jump and like you can't because like you're trying to aim and then you're trying to like scope in or like trying to, I don't know how to explain it, but that's why I kind of want a scuff controller. And if I do get a scuff controller, it's going to be the phase 2.0. And also I asked um, scuff over at Twitter and they said that, oh, here's the link to it. And then they sent me the link and then they didn't have any. And I was like, what? Y'all don't have any scuff controllers available right now. So it honestly kind of sucked, but they are available now. So I will be ordering one maybe this Friday. Hopefully that they don't like sell out on Friday. Because if they do, I'm going to be so de like sad and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to be getting a scuff controller and it's going to be the phase 2.0. Honestly, it's going to be pretty cool. Nice and little nail scuff right there. But honestly, I'm just super hyped that like how the direction that I'm going and like what I'm thinking right now. And just, I don't know, just everything's all great. And it's not, I mean, this is like the beginning right now. So it's not perfect, but still, it's it's just start. Okay, uh, speaking of hitting like clips. Okay, so like today earlier, I actually hit a clip and it was actually kind of like a, you know, it was a pretty decent clip. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't know if I'm gonna use that for the map. Dude, no way. Oh my jeez, dude. What if, I wish that guy didn't die. I think I would have got a triple right there. That would have been a clip right there. And then speaking of the clips, holy shit, that would have been really nice in my opinion. But like I was saying, I actually hit a clip today earlier. Earlier today, that's a good way to say it, but yeah, earlier today I actually hit a clip, and it was basically two collides, I'm gonna let you see that. But yeah, I got those two clads. Honestly, it's nothing special. I don't know if I'm gonna use that for the montage or not, because one, I feel like, I mean, for me, it looked kind of cool. But I don't know if like if it's kind of cool or not. I don't know. I, th I think I might add it in because it was basically two collats and it made it like you know a quad fee. So on, in my opinion, I think I might use that. Honestly, I don't know if I am, but it looked pretty cool in my opinion. But yeah, I think I might just end today's video right there because honestly, I don't even know what else to talk about. But actually, I think I might just say this right now, and you can just tell me this in the comments right now. Um, does it does the scuff controller actually increase your chances of hitting a trick shot? Not like. Like, it'll give you aimbot, but is, like, a scuff controller actually really good for, like, trick shotting as well? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but I think, in my opinion, I feel like a scuff will help you with trick shotting stuff like that. Especially that you have buttons in the back and you can just press those instead of, you know, just doing all this, um, like, trying to do a claw and stuff like that. Even though claw is, like, a better and cheaper way for, like, a scuff, but one, you know, um, playing claw just takes a long time to do, and you need to be, like... You need to do it like every day and it feels so uncomfortable. I, I honestly, I want to do it the, like the, the dumb way. Not really dumb, but you know, just kind of waste my money. Especially that scuff is actually like a really good controller and it helps for like everything. It helps like for red guns, like you know, gun battles and you know, just competitive stuff. So yeah, actually I think I might get a scuff controller. Honestly, I don't know. But actually, yeah, I am going to get one. It's going to be the phase 2.0 and I will be doing unboxing maybe when I get it. Honestly, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to end the video there. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.